In today's video, you'll learn how to make 3D tables in Excel, and they will look like the sample on screen. Load up Excel and create a blank workbook. Now, imagine that you own a hardware store and input some data related to your sales for the last three years. In my workbook, the tables have rows with different products and columns with the regions where my store sold these products. 3D tables allow you to see data calculated by more than two parameters defined as rows and columns. Before creating it, you should think about what parameters you want to include, otherwise your 3D table won't make any sense around the edges. When you're done, it's time to make three additional tables. My first table will show data by product and region, all time, not per year. Let's copy the side and top headers and start calculating. For desktops in North America, I will calculate the sum of the three years. In my case, this will be B2, B8, and B14. Hit enter when you're done. If I highlight the formula, you can see the cells in the sum. Now, if I drag the formula, it will automatically select the adjacent cells for laptops. That will be B3, B9, and B15. Let's drag once more for smartphones and peripherals. Drag sideways for Europe and Asia. If you are wondering why I pay so much attention to these formulas, it is because the other two tables won't automatically complete your formulas in all directions. For example, drag in my next table by year and region works only sideways. Always make sure to check your formulas when you drag in order to avoid mistakes. Also, when you create 3D tables, Position your additional tables one next to the other for fewer resizing problems. My last table will be by product and year. Once you're done with all of them, it is time to create your 3D table. Excel doesn't show you this feature in the ribbon, so you'll have to make it accessible. Right-click on any of the tabs and choose Customize the ribbon. A new window will open. Click on New tab to the right and Excel will make a new tab where you can add your desired features. You can rename it to something more appealing, like 3D tables, for example. The group is a section of the tab which contains a set of features. It appears with small text on the ribbon. Since we're adding only one button to it, you can rename the group to Tools, for example. Then switch to the left side of the window. Open the drop-down menu and choose All Commands. Since Excel contains so many features, the window may become unresponsive for a second. After it lists everything, Use the scroll bar to find camera. Make sure that your new group is selected, then click to add camera to it. When you close the window, your new tab will appear on the ribbon, as you can see. This feature creates snapshots of selected areas in your workbook or objects such as charts. These snapshots can dynamically change when you edit the tables or charts. And here's why we will use this feature. After creating the snapshots, we can apply different effects and ultimately arrange them in a way which creates our 3D table. You should select the first table only with the side headers, as your main table is usually on top. Since you will select the whole second table, you should also populate the first cell. This is a great time to add some borders to everything, which is a demonstration that the snapshots change dynamically when you edit the selected areas. Feel free to resize the snapshots, you don't lose quality doing so. The first cell from the second table usually divides its top and side headers, so you should add an additional diagonal border to split it. I am not aware of a better way to do this. Once you add the border, select the first word and open the same dialog to the font tab. Choose to make the text subscript. Do the same thing to the second word, but this time choose superscript. Add some spacing between the words if they aren't aligned yet. You can also middle align them if necessary. Now create a snapshot from the second table. Select the third table without its headers, only the values, and then create a snapshot. Start resizing the columns until they are rather uniform across the first two tables. For example, I should either rename North America to America only, or as a better solution, wrap the text and expand the column. And while this is important to note, I will skip directly to the 3D work. Select your first image and click on the Picture Format tab. You have probably used this tab in PowerPoint. Open Picture Effects and expand 3D Rotation, then if you want, click on 3D Rotation Options to open the menu as a pane to the right. 
You can also add the menu to your 3D tables tab on the ribbon. It is named 3D Rotation. Or you can simply invoke it with the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus 1. Expand 3D Rotation and open Presets. You will see a lot of 3D Rotation presets which you will apply to the images. For the first image choose Isometric Left Down. For the second one choose Isometric Bottom Down. And for the third one select Isometric Right Up. Then arrange the images as shown on screen to form your 3D table. And finally, before I end this video, I will share a bonus tip with you which involves creating a woven-like effect on the table. Select every other row of the first table while holding Ctrl, then click on the small arrow in the font group to open the dialog. Switch to the Fill tab and open Fill Effects. Define two colors you want to use, or just go with the default blue. Then click on the OK button and proceed to select the remaining rows from the first table. Do the same thing but swap the true colors. Repeat for the top table. Then for the right side table, select cells in a checkerboard pattern and before you hit OK, change the shading style to diagonal up. Repeat for the remaining cells while swapping the colors. If the images refuse to update immediately, select them, move them and hit Ctrl Z. Now your table not only looks professional, but also visually appealing. Thanks for watching the video, if you found it useful then do subscribe to this channel, and why not watch some more videos?